Yeah, do you know that a basketball free falls at the same rate as a balloon? Hi, is it physics again? Yep. What do you think? Of course not lah. Basketball falls faster than a balloon. Everybody knows that. Yes, but that's because air resistance has a stronger effect on the balloon's fall than on the basketball. When we say free fall, we mean falling due to only gravity. So when air resistance is zero, or small enough for us to pretend that it's zero, everything free falls at g. G for girl? No, g for the acceleration of free fall 9.81 meter per second square. Are you saying gravity causes everything to fall at the same rate? If they don't, then we blame it on air resistance? Yup, air resistance, viscous drag, we blame it on anything else other than gravitational pull. It still makes no sense. Why? Because the basketball is heavier than the balloon. So? The force is larger. You're right. The gravitational pull on an object is proportional to the mass of the object. The larger the mass, the harder the earth pulls it. So I'm right! The basketball falls faster! But the acceleration of an object is inversely proportional to its mass. The basketball has a larger mass, which means it takes a larger effort to accelerate it. Ha! Huh? The basketball falls slower than a balloon? No, you must put the two effects together. It so happens that gravitational pull is mass times g. And it so happens that acceleration is net force divided by mass. Times mass divided by mass. So the mass does not matter. Whatever the mass, every object free force at g. Oh, gravity is like a teacher who brings more candies to a bigger class, but because there are more students, every student still only gets two candies, right? <laughs>